Hi students, this is the continuation video of acidic strength of the organic compounds. In the previous video, we are discussing about the acidic strength of alcohols and phenols. In this video, I am going to concentrate on the acidic strength of the carboxylic acids. So let's see how the acidic strength of the carboxylic acids is compared with the alcohols and the phenols. Among the carboxylic acids, which one has a higher acidic strength? What are the factors which influence the acidic strength of the carboxylic acids? Let's see. This is the carboxylic acid. This carboxylic acid on ionization, you are getting RCOO minus and H plus. This is a carboxylate ion. Carboxylate ion. Carboxylate ion. Here, this is the carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. Now, there is a comparison. Among alcohols and phenols, alcohols are less acidic and phenols are more acidic. Okay, no issue. Every student are well known about the things. Among the phenol and the carboxylic acid, which one is the stronger acid and why it is the stronger acid? Take a look. This carboxylic acid is resonance stabilized. Carboxylic acid resonance stabilized. Here oxygen has a lone pair. As a result, it made a pi bond. In the meanwhile, it will be shifted to there and you are getting a resonating structure of carboxylic acid like this. R O minus and double bond O and having hydrogen and here is the positive charge. Here one lone pair, here three lone pairs are there on the oxygen item. Students, this is the carboxylic acid, this is also carboxylic acid, these two are the resonating structures of the carboxylic acid. Come to the carboxylate ion. This carboxylate ion resonating structures are like this. Or here electron density shifted to here. Here electron density shifted to like this. Here this this the localized electron density converts into a pi bond. The pi bond density shifted to the as a localized density. Then you are getting RCO minus here is double bond O. Here is a negative charge. Right? If you compare these two resonating structures as a carboxylic acid, it has no charge, but there is a charge separation. In the previous case also, we have discussed that a resonating structure without charge separation is more stable than the resonating structure with the charge separation. Here without charge separation, here is the charge separation. So these resonating structures are less stable. These resonating structures are less stable and these structures are more stable. In order to exist as these ions, it want to lose the H+. Plus. It want to lose the H+. Plus. That is the major reason carboxylic acids are converted into carboxylate ions. And one more important point is these two resonating structures, these two resonating structures are equivalent to resonating structures. In case of phenol, five structures are possible, but they are not equivalent. But here these two structures are equivalent to resonating structures. Number of sigma bonds and pi bonds are same. Number of sigma pi bonds in this structure also same. And one unit neg negative charge here also one unit negative charge. Here negative charge located on the oxygen, here also located on the oxygen. So this is a very important point. Any species with the equivalent resonating structures is more stable than anyone. That's why carboxylate ion is highly stable. In order to get that stability, carboxylic acid is converted into carboxylate ion and the, uh, for getting that it loses the H plus and shows the acidic nature. This is the point. Now we are entering into the what are the factors which influence the, the acidic strength of the carboxylic acids. After our discussion why the carboxylic acids are stronger acids than the phenols. Now we are going to discuss acidic strength among the carboxylic acids. Here I am taking RCOOH, HCOOH and phenyl COOH. 
This is the aliphatic carboxylic acid, methanoic acid, benzoic acid, or aromatic acid. Among all these acids, here our group shows plus I effect. Neither shows plus I nor shows minus I. Neither shows plus M nor shows minus M effect. Hydrogen. And phenyl group shows minus I effect. And it shows also plus M effect. But plus M effect is a little bit dominating than minus I effect. Student, you have to remember generally, generally, whenever the minus I effect and plus M effect are there, minus I and plus M effect are there, plus M effect. Is operating more or inductive and mesomeric effects are there, mesomeric effects will operate. So donating capacity, donating capacity will decrease the acidic strength, whereas the withdrawing capacity will increase the acidic strength. Here it is a plus I effect. Here it is a plus I effect. It is a combination of plus M and minus I effect. It is influenced by plus M and minus I effect. That's why it is a weaker acid, weaker acid than this one, but stronger acid than this one. Because here it operates only the donating effect. Here it operates the donating and withdrawing effect. So based on this explanation, the strongest acid is the formic acid. B greater than because it is not influenced by any donating group. Come to the these two. It is the combination of plus M and minus I effect. And it is a combination of plus I effect only. So that's why it will be it will be greater and then and then aliphatic acids. This is the order of this is the order this is the order for the acidic strength for aliphatic metanoic acid and benzoic acid. Here student have to remember because of mesomeric effect of the COOH group, electron density from the phenyl ring dragon by the carbon, that's why its acidic strength will decrease. But parallelly, parallelly phenyl group with shows the minus I effect, that's why its acidic strength increases. There are two opposing forces will work, but a little bit when compared with when compared with this group, minus I effect is more. When compared with this group, plus M effect is more. Resultant resultant is B greater than C greater than A. Among the aliphatic acids, among the aliphatic acids, I am taking CH3, CH, COOH. Here I am taking Cl, CH3, C, Cl, Cl, COOH. Here I am taking CCl3, CCl2, COOH. Which one is a stronger acid? Students, chlorine is a withdrawing group. Chlorine is a withdrawing group. Here more number of withdrawing groups are there. More is the number of withdrawing groups, more is the acidic strength. Suppose this is the X, this is the Y and this is the Z. More is the withdrawing groups present on the given carboxylic acid, more will be the withdrawing nature, more will be the polarity of the group. If more is the polarity of the group, more is the acidic strength. So, order is Z greater than Y greater than X. Z greater than Y greater than X. Now we are going to compare the acidic strength among the aromatic carboxylic acids. Now I am taking three sets of aromatic carboxylic acids having different substituents present on the benzene ring. First taking the set four carboxylic acids and they are designated with A, B, C, D. Here we are going to write the order of acidic strength. Students what I, what we are discussed is Withdrawing groups are there, they drag the electron density, as a result polarity of the bond will increase, automatically H plus is readily released and acidic strength will increase. Based on this explanation, NO2 is present at meta position, here it shows minus I effect, here methyl group is there. It is present at meta portion to the carboxylic acid. It will show the plus I effect. And chlorine shows minus I effect. So this group, this benzoic acid, 
has no group at all. So how can you compare? The carboxylic acids with withdrawing group are stronger acids. Here two compounds have the withdrawing group. Among NO2 and Cl, NO2 is a stronger withdrawing group. So B is a stronger acid than D. Than D. Then come to the A and C. C has the donating group and A has no donating group. But the acidic strength increases with the withdrawing group. If withdrawing group is not available, acidic strength is favors with the without donating group or with the donating group. Without a donating group will increase the acidic strength. So B greater than, D greater than, A greater than and C. This is a simple way of explanation and easy to understand for every, every student. Come to the second set students. Here I am taking again benzoic acid. It is represented with K. It is nitrobenzoic acid. Here it is located at meta position. Here it is located at meta para position. Here two nitro groups. Two nitro groups. That is represented with N. This is M. This is M. This is K. So these three compounds have withdrawing groups. So undoubtedly this K. That means this benzoic acid has a weak acidic strength. Among these three, undoubtedly, it has a higher acidic strength because there are two withdrawing groups. More effect will operate. So N is greater than, N is greater than, wait students, N, N is greater than. After that, there are two groups here. Here, this NO2 group present at meta position. Whenever the groups are present at meta position, they show their influence on the functional group by the inductive effect only. When they are located at the para position, they show their influence mainly, they show minus M and minus I, but they mainly shows the minus M effect on that one. If minus M and minus I effects are there, minus M effect will dominate. So minus M effect influenced groups are more affected. So it is a stronger acid. So N greater than M automatically L and finally it is K. This is a simple way for understanding different groups. And come to this point. Come to this point students. It's a very very important. First what is the order you are expected. This has no donating group. It has one donating group, it has one donating group, and it has two more donating groups. On the basis, what is the answer you are expected? Generally, what you are expected? If donating groups are there, if donating groups are there, acidic strength of the carboxylic acid decreases. So it is a less acid, weaker acid, automatically. P is the stronger acid you are expecting. This is the stronger acid you are expecting and this is the weaker acid the every student is expecting. But the real answer is S is the stronger acid. S is the stronger acid, you remember that. After that Q is the stronger acid. After that P is the stronger acid. After that R is the stronger acid. So our expectation is heavily that heavily unexpected so because our expectation is our expectation is this is the stronger acid and this is the weaker acid but pka values experimental values shows that it is the stronger acid it is the stronger acid why that is the stronger acid and why this is the this is the weaker acid we will explain in the next session so in the meanwhile students have to think about these points and refer the book improve your knowledge i will come back with the third video on the carboxylic acid strength right thank you have a nice day